Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at more advanced soft body effects. This is an intermediate tutorial. It's kind of a follow-up to the one I did the other day on the Terminator-like healing effects, skin healing effects. So let me see, buddy. I don't need these objects in the scene. Let me get rid of these real quick. And so if you followed that playlist that I did on soft body physics, and you noticed in the one, let me just put a cube in the scene real quick. Cube. And I will go into edit mode and I'll subdivide it. Subdivide. And you recall from the one that when you subdivided it, it subdivides these edges and it provides you these points along here for to act like as springs, but it did not have, act as one in the center. So in order to put a spring in the center, you would actually have to come in and do this and press F and start building your springs individually. Like that. So that's pretty much what I did for doing the cyber skin effect. I made sure that my existing mesh that I was using was full of springs. Well, you don't want to go in and have to build all that kind of stuff all by itself. So the way you do it is you just get rid of this cube. We'll just start it from scratch. Add another one in here, a little smaller cube. Like this into the scene. And so just as the starter cube in here, I'm just going to go into modifiers and use the array modifier. All right, so I'll maybe add five this direction or six. Apply it. And then I'll do the same thing again in Y. Turn that zero and that to one. And make five of those as well and apply that. Okay, and then I'll transform my origin to the geometry. So then when I go into edit mode, then you can see I've already pre-built all those vertical structures on the inside. Right. So that's the basis of being able to do these kind of things. This is powerful stuff because not only will objects, you know, will distort the objects and break things out, but it'll actually hold on to objects as you pull them out of there as well. And depending upon the weight of your vertex groups, you can even put objects in here and spin the object. And if you have your weight set really low on the vertex groups out here, it'll just pull that object in and it'll wrap it around right around that shaft that you're working on there. So this is really great stuff. So that's really the point of this exercise. That's what I was using in order to do it. And then you know how to set all the vertex groups and everything else. But in case you're having trouble figuring out how I did that effect, that's what I did. I started with this. And I recommend this effect for soft bodies in general anyway, because then if you weight all these how you want, then you can really change the way that you distort the mesh when the soft body animation takes place. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.